Hi, Liz Child here for Green Earth Organics. I'm gonna show you a really, really quick ferment today. Okay, so in the ferment chapter of my book, there is this brine fermenting section. Brine fermenting is where you suspend vegetables in a brine of a certain solution until it's lacto-fermented. Okay, so for the onions, we're just gonna use the basic brine. And the basic brine recipe is one litre of water and one and a half tablespoons of salt. So I've got half a litre of water, so I need about um, two thirds of a tablespoon of salt. And I'll just mix that in. This water is kind of lukewarm just to help the salt dissolve, but you don't want to use boiling hot water. Okay, so while the salt's dissolving, I'm going to start making the ferment. So this is the jar that I'm going to ferment my onion in. So I'm just going to put a little bit of coriander. You can do whatever kind of pickling spices you like. You can just leave it plain. A tiny bit of some mustard seeds and a couple of peppercorns. So this is just for flavour, really. I'm also going to put in a bay leaf. A fresh one would be even better, but these dried ones are fine. Okay, so they're nicely there in the bottom. And I'm going to do a mix of red and white. But you can do just red or just white. Red just looks prettier. It's nice and pink when it's fermented. It's gorgeous. So you can cut the onion however you like. I'm going to do these kind of slim half moons and actually I'm going to start off with just half of each onion and see how we go for space in the jar. Okay then I'm just going to kind of mix it up a little bit in the jar. So press it down fairly firmly and you want to leave some headroom as well so that's about right you want to leave a good inch of headroom and then just make sure your salt is dissolved and then just pour the brine in make sure you cover the onions that are in there and then you can either use a little a weight like you can buy these kind of pickle weight things or I've got a quarter of a cabbage here so what you can do is make a follower so a follower is just a piece of vegetable that neatly pins everything under the brine you want everything to be nice and safe underneath the brine so that it won't be exposed to oxygen and then it could get mouldy. So if you break off a cabbage leaf or something similar and wedge it into the jar, making sure there's no floaty bits of onion poking up over the brine. You could even do an extra little piece if there's a gap and then just remove any little floaty bits. So you can see here, the cabbage leaf is underneath the water and there's no bits of onions poking up over the brine. And that actually looks like it would hold. So the cabbage is kind of tucked underneath the shoulder of the jar. So everything's safe underneath. Um, but just in case, I'm just gonna pop this little weight on and then I'm gonna put the lid on, but just loosely, I'm not gonna do it really tight. I'm gonna undo it a little bit so that gases can escape as it ferments. And I'll leave that on the shelf for maybe a week. I'll see how it goes and I'll show you how it looks after that. Oh, and just to say, when you leave it on the shelf, put it in a bowl or on a plate, um, just in case sometimes um, as it's fermenting, some of the brine will bubble out over and you don't want to ruin your shelf. So just pop it in a, a bowl to catch any overspill. You can check on it each day if you like, um, just to make sure everything's still safely under the brine, uh, but you don't want to fiddle about with it too much. If things do float up over the brine, then just open it and use a clean hand and just push everything down to expel any air bubbles and to get everything nice and safely under the brine again. Okay, so it's been a week and you can see the change in the onions. It's amazing the colour change. They're absolutely beautiful, this kind of shocking pink. So let's open it up and see if it's good to go. Just remove the weight and the follower. 
the follow is perfectly edible. Just slice it up and add it to sandwiches or salads or whatever. Okay, let's try these delicious fermented onions. They're so good. They just taste like lightly pickled. It's just the best kind of fermented pickly oniony flavour. Oh, they're so good. And I have them on loads of different meals. So they're great in a taco. They're fantastic on top of a chili or a dal. In sandwiches, there's so many uses. So wherever you'd like some lightly pickled pink onions, these guys are the ones for you. So I'm just gonna keep this in the fridge and it should last for absolutely ages, months really, um, if we didn't eat it all up in that time. We normally make a batch of these onions probably once a month at least. And let me know if you give it a go. Enjoy.